So we're back with section six. And this is what it will look like when we're done with this step. And here we go. We're going to... Okay, I just have to get the cam in. We're dividing a little square into four triangles by making a cross through on both sides. Then we will make a line up, not all the way up and down, like making a little triangular line. And there's room for three or four of those, sometimes five. And we do that on the opposite side as well. Now I'm seeing my hand again. This was done yesterday, and now I'm trying to voice over it. And we do the next section. It's very, very simple. Very simple lines. Uh, but the effect will be nice. In the end, I hope. And uh, here we see it again. I'm just showing you a few of them as it is quite basic, and then I'll speed up and do the rest. So, just basic. And line up, and line down. Line up, line down. Of course you could, if you want to have perfection, you could use a ruler to make the cross through, so that it's perfect, but I have this opinion that uh, I don't like it to be absolutely perfect. Um, if you want perfect, you could maybe do it on the computer. Um, but I like that there's quirkiness and little crooked things. Uh, I think it gives the piece more life, uh, more personality. And it also makes that it's absolutely impossible to do everything perfectly straight. So it's, in the end, in the end of things, I, I think it's, it's nice that it has this imperfections. Um, but if you're into perfect, use a ruler. Or if you have a very shaky hand, of course, I mean, if you have a shaky hand, a, a ruler will definitely be the key. I just don't use it a lot, unless I make something where I really want everything to be straight and, and perfect. And for this, uh, yeah, I choose not to use a ruler. So, in a minute we'll be speeding it up. Uh, I guess you catch the drift. So, you know what, what is going on with this pattern. I really hope that, uh, that you will enjoy going through this. A part of it is also that by doing it, you will get familiar with these basic patterns and, and you will have repeated them enough so that you have them in your hand uh, and uh, that will make it easier for you afterwards to use it in, in other terms. Wow, some cars on the street with very loud music. Interesting. So now I speed it up and you see here for me, it's always easy to do it like this, then they become more similar if I make them in the line like that. Going through. And then of course we'll go the other way around. And as you can see, I'll keep turning, turning, turning. And uh, then it'll just be a question of filling it in. Oops, I missed one. Oh no, what's gonna happen? And then it's just filling them in. 
would be amazing if one could work that fast for real. This is like eight times the speed. I would love that. Imagine how much work I could get done if I had that drawing speed. Hmm. Then it would really be fast. Um, when I sit and look at the complete how far we are, I think. I think it's already starting to look like something. And, and that's the thing, you don't need a lot of complicated patterns or a lot of skill. You need to make lines and, um, and it will turn out as a, as a good design in the end, maybe. Sometimes also making a piece, a focus piece, where you just focus on one pattern and repeating that can be absolutely stunning. So, you know, if you have a, a pattern that you think is difficult, make a whole piece where you're just using a pattern that will become familiar to you and you will be confident with it. And when you're confident with the, with the pattern, it falls much easier to make vari vari variations and uh, incorporations in other pieces. So I strongly suggest if, if you know, do some practice pieces where you just repeat one pattern. Uh, and it could be like a, what I would call a mono tangle. And here I'm going simply across from the one minute section to the other, creating a cross in here. It's very, very, very simple. And I'm actually doing these lines more or less straight. Then I'm going through it one more time in the middle and one more time. So it's divided into six little sections. Well, actually, it's divided into eight sections. But uh, it gives a nice effect. And then you're also pushing it a bit because you're pushing the pattern to intertwine within the little sections, which I think will give a nice um, smooth effect in the end. So this is very, very uh, simple, as you can see. There's nothing big to explaining a line. So here we go, and I will be speeding this up as well. And so you can see now it's getting so big, so it's a bit harder to keep it in the camera. But I guess you catch the idea of what is going to happen all the way around. And uh, you can, of course, always play around and, and make your own version, or maybe you have a feeling for making something completely else in there. And that's the fun of doing things like that. I don't plan out the pattern while I'm making one section and actually thinking about what I might want to put in the next one. So, if you like this, then uh, join the group if you're not already there. Uh, I will have more things like this going on if there's a, if, if there's a desire to have more. If you guys find it interesting, I will definitely make maybe one or two more basics and then make something a little bit more intermediate and maybe finish up with the extravagant one. <laughs>